Welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you a very infrequently talked about keyword method, which I personally think is the most powerful. Now, this is another one in my playlist. If you want to watch the entire playlist, I'm currently just making a playlist of all of the best ranking techniques for chat GPT and AI SEO. Now this video is not going to really include much ChatGPT or if, if any ChatGPT, it's going to be much more keyword based. So the tool is keywordtool.io and the thing that I absolutely love about this tool is at the very top. They have Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon. So obviously if you're an Amazon affiliate marketer, you're going to like this video a lot. eBay, App Store, Play Store, Instagram, Twitter or X as it's called now, Pinterest, Etsy, TikTok, and my personal favorite, Google Trends. Now, how does this tool work? It does not use semantics. It uses phrase match. What does that actually mean? So if you don't know the difference between semantic match and phrase match, basically semantics use similar words. For example, let's say oven and grill. They're not exactly the same thing. This is probably a bad example, but they're, they're similar, okay? So if we search on Google Ads Keyword Planner Oven, it will give semantic matches to that keyword. However, KeywordTool.io works in a different way. It uses phrase match, which means it only matches the phrase or the word that you have written. So how can we use this to our advantage? So you can use the Google one if you want, um, I would recommend putting this in the United States or just leaving it as global worldwide. And then you just want to type in your niche right here. Now this can work fairly well, but this is definitely not how I recommend you use this tool. But just as, as, as some proof that of concept, you can scroll down here, you can find some pretty good keywords. This is actually where I found the um, kind of idea to use Georgia and all the other American states. That was one of the reasons I did that because I noticed them here. However, there's actually something much, much better here, which is questions, first of all, which if you know anything about SEO, these are amazing. I haven't written this article. Th these two are actually the same, but this is a really good article that I should write. And then <clears throat> can tiny homes be moved? Can tiny homes be parked in RV parks? All this kind of stuff. I'll show you right now on Ahrefs, or you could use Google Ads Keyword Planner if you don't want to pay for Ahrefs. Um, in fact, let's open up Google Ads Keyword Planner as well, so we, I can show you how to verify keywords. So once you're on Google Ads Keyword Planner, you put English and United States, and then you put your keyword right here like this, and then you just press get results. So you can see 170 searches per month. It's something that is also growing. This is definitely an article that I would look at writing. Let's have a look at uh, Ahrefs, what Ahrefs thinks of this. Even more searches per month. So yeah, this is this is looking like a really, really good keyword that I would definitely use. So yeah, that's one. That's how you verify the keywords as well. However, there are other things here that I want to show you. There is also prepositions, okay? If you do not know what a preposition is in English, a preposition is like in, on uh, their prepositions of place and then for example let's have a look at some others about on uh, above etc etc so what does this do it gives another layer one really cool thing that you need to learn about keyword I'm just gonna write R keyword research is that anything that you can change about the output or the input sorry will give different output, okay? So by changing keyword suggestions to questions to prepositions without changing the actual um, keyword, you get three different types of keywords, okay? Another thing I wanna show you as well is that you can also just change this word very slightly. So we could put a tiny house, for example. Um, and yeah, it, th this, is how you this is how you find really, really good niche keywords, basically. But let's stick with tiny home with prepositions, tiny home above, above garage, uh, tiny home above ground septic tank, are tiny homes illegal, tiny homes for less than 50,000, tiny home communities around across America, 
Tiny Home and Tricks could be a good one. Tiny Home versus Cabin. Tiny Home from Shipping Container. This is something that I need to write, etc., etc. So, this works better with some niches and worse with other niches. However, there is something really mind-blowing which I want to show you. First of all, let's have a look at Google Trends just because I think it's really, really interesting. For me personally, it's not that amazing. However, when I see keywords like this, then I am very, very intrigued because that is potentially a huge, huge, huge keyword. I have already written about uh, Home Depot, um, but yeah. So what you can do is you can scroll down here. You can see if there's anything else interesting. These are the current trenders in the topic. You can also click top here, which gives you different keywords again. However, these tend to be much broader and less niche keywords. So from this list, articles that I would be interested in are this, because I don't know what it is, and I'm just interested. Could be nice to write an article about the Oconee Bell tiny home community. Definitely probably worth writing about. Um, home Depot, tiny house, three bedroom. That's probably going to be a good one. And yeah, you can see basically just some interesting keywords here. But the real deal, the real strong one here is actually Amazon. Okay. I advise you to check all of these out yourselves. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at TikTok just because I'm, I'm interested. I don't think anything's going to really show up. Yeah, tiny home tour, tiny home living. This could give you some ideas for short videos that you could put on TikTok in order to grow your uh, website. But the real golden juice is on Amazon, okay? This is where the real good stuff happens. Tiny home kits to build, to live in, is an, it's just a fantastic keyword. It's literally the perfect keyword. Let me tell you why. It's a buyer keyword. Anyone searching for this is looking to buy the product that they are talking about. This is something that is currently trending. You can see it's gone up to 50. So it's gone from 20 to 50. If anything goes from 20 to 50, you can expect it to go to 50 to 100, etc., etc. This is one of the best ways to find trends before they happen. Okay, and I absolutely love this keyword method. Tiny home air conditioner. This is something that did not come up, I'm pretty sure, in my chat GPT video yesterday where I did a, I basically got chat GPT to write me Amazon niche affiliate um, potential articles. Um, but I, I would say it's it's important to actually do the research as well, okay? You can see there are some amazing keywords here that will all have decent searches per month on Google. Okay. Tiny home kit, prefab tiny homes, tiny home essentials. This is one that I wrote. Uh, I just wrote this article. Tiny home furniture, tiny home appliances. This is a really, really good article that needs to be done. Um, this could be an overall appliance article, like best appliances, whatever it might be. Or you could split, in, split it into kitchen appliances, bathroom appliances, etc., etc. Air conditioning units, this is perfect. This, this is like waiting to make sales, basically. Uh, and then you can just scroll down. You can see if there's anything else that you like. There are loads and loads of here. Hot water heater, insulation. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Microwaves, model, model kit, necessities barn on wheels blah 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 and then the final thing that you can do like i said before is changing the input so if you click on prepositions this will give you even more and this is one that i found while i was doing this uh the research for this video above ground septic tank for a tiny home okay that is a super 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 niche keyword okay it's it's so niche it's actually ridiculous but you can see it actually has on google ads keyword planner up to 90 searches per month i know that doesn't sound like a lot i know you're probably thinking hamish why the hell would i want to try and rank for that keyword but the 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 the, the reason that we're doing it is i'll show you right now the reason that we're doing it you never know first of all what you're going to rank for okay remember that that is one part of seo that people seem to forget you never know what you're going to rank for okay someone is obviously uh use this keyword method very, very recently. 
So apparently this uh, this website right here. Oh, this is actually a tag. That's super interesting. I want to find an actual article here. So yeah, you can on, honestly you can literally see that there's no decent article on this topic right now, which is perfect. There's this, which is septic tank size for a tiny home in general. Looks like it just got obliterated. But still, 25 organic traffic for something that's going to take you two minutes to write with night uh, with Koala or ChatGPT or whatever. It's definitely worth it. This is what Julian Goldie talks quite a lot about on his channel. He talks about the 80-20. And because they're so easy to write, what's the point in not writing it, okay? So you might look at this as a really weird keyword that's not going to get any clicks, but who cares if it only gets 10 clicks a month because it took you one or two minutes to write. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm still growing a few different websites at the same time. As I said before, I'm mainly growing um, Tiny Home Hub now just to shut people up. I'm sick of people saying that I don't know how to grow a website. But yeah, it's going pretty well, and I'm very, very excited to share the entire process with you. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.